And now, Seagull Joe moves on. Uh, no, I'm sorry, excuse me. Chillin' Dude moves on. Seagull Joe gets knocked down to loser's bracket. Pretty early, too. Let me check, let me check what round that was. Let me pull this up. Alright, I got ourselves. We got me in the bracket right here. Okay, that was winners round three. Man. That was hype. Okay, let's see. Now hopping on. We got our boys Hyper Flame and Bacon Pancakes here. Two pretty familiar faces here at Xanadu. Whoops. Guys, that was the uh, that was the first time that I've ever seen a uh, chillin' dude wolf combo in person. I feel like I've actually reached like a new level of sentience. Anyway, hyper playing bacon pancakes. Bacon opting to go Ike right now. Um, I don't think it's because he's sleeping on on my boy Hyper Flame. I think it's actually because. Uh, I, he's concerned about the matchup. Um, Hyper Flame, well, Lucas rather, he can combo Fox pretty easily. Um, however, I know players who made both characters who would argue over where exactly the matchup lies. Um, but for one reason or another, Bing and Pancakes decides that he's still on Ike right now. So, can't blame him for that. Takes the first stock. That was a. That's pretty solid. I'm surprised. Well, I guess I'm not surprised. This Ike has taken stats off of uh, off of Hat and Flank. Um, he mainly picked up Ike uh, in order to help him with uh, the Sheik um, matchup because he's not a particular fan of Fox Sheik, especially against Hat and Flank, who play some of the most uh, difficult Sheiks to play against. Oh, that's true. He also did beat Red with Ike. So. Yeah, no, this is this is not like a a uh, for fun character. Like this is a legit secondary. His like is really good. And just as I say that, he uh, he eats a back air by Hyper Flame and uh, dies off the top. So he has 60%. That's really not too much of a lead. That's something that Lucas can add on in just about one combo. See, the thing is, Sheik does. I, I would actually I would agree with you saying that Sheik is a pretty bad matchup for Ike. Um, but the thing is, is that Sheik, uh, doesn't destroy Bacon Pancakes, Ike. And so, Bacon will like to switch back and forth between Fox and, uh, Ike when playing against good Sheiks. Just sort of, just so that they, uh, they kind of, like, unlearn the matchup in the middle of the set, forces them to, to think a little bit harder. I'm a little surprised to see uh, Bacon Plot. Wow, nice F smash, punishing a missed sweet spot. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's smart by Hyper, uh, not opting to drop to the ledge. That's something that <laughs> I probably would have tried to, like, drop to the ledge and steal it before uh, Bacon could get it, but Hyper's smart enough to know that he did not have enough time to do it. Uh, at Xanadu right now, I think Bracket's like... Let me pull up the Bracket, because Bracket size is what really matters. Uh, so it's 31 entrance in PM right now, but Melee's got like 92, something crazy like that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty sick. So Racine actually up two stocks. He's at 135%, so he can die to just about anything. 
Hyper Flame opting to go for a back kick. Up throw should. Yeah, okay. I was, about to, I was about to say, up throw should do the trick right there. Alright. Hyper Flame has some ground to cover right now. Has, has Bacon off the stage. Okay. Ooh, he misses the third hit of that down. It does not matter. He's actually going to hit that charge up smash. Alright. Nice dash attacks. Ooh, back air knocks Bacon down. You know, it looked like Racine had, or Bacon Pancakes rather. Oof. That was a bit of an ambitious up smash. Might get punished, or, well, actually, not get punished rather. Alright, there you go. Forward throw to forward air. Good DR by Hyper Flame to stay alive. Now we return. Oh, wow. I like that idea, uh, PK freeze to Dacus. Mm, that was not the best DI on that down throw. I think that uh, Bacon Pancakes was probably thinking uh, that he was going to get uh, back thrown as a mix up, perhaps, because generally you want to down, you want to DI Lucas's down throw behind him. That minimizes his amount of follow ups. Um, But, uh, we're seeing the eye behind him, but probably not to the uh, most optimal angle. Managed to get hit by a sweet spot back air. So, good stuff to Hyperflame. Proving that Bacon just can't pull out this Ike and expect to win. Honestly, when I think about it, uh, Okay, combos are happening. Okay, alright. Wow. Hyper <laughs> Flame! That's, uh, that's a specialty. Do some really sick stuff and then just kill yourself. Wow! Third... That's that's interesting to see that, uh, that kill. I mean, I know I understand the Meteor on the, the third hit, but the angle was very interesting. Alright. Oh, nice roll by Big Pancakes to avoid the grab. Doesn't get any sort of punish on uh, Hyper Flames up B. Alright, down throw. Okay, good DI on that one. Eats a forward air, but just a forward air, so that's probably better than a lot of other punishes. Alright, forward air. Good DI by Hyper Flame to avoid getting hit by another forward air. And a back air since Hyper way off the stage. Mm, neutral air doesn't connect, so Hyper Flame gets the, gets the advantage again. Oh, Hyper Flame trying to be really creative, dropping off the stage and hitting him with the down air as he rises with his upbeat. Ooh, there's a bit of a standoff there. That's never a good position for the Lucas. <sighs> Especially against characters like Ike, who can just uh, jump from the ledge and back air like that. Nice forward air. And I guess we take those? Uh, and we're both just going to wait this out. We're going to float. Neither neither player actually showing even like a little bit of, 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 of smiles or anything. This is still serious. Even after both of them just dying super low. Nice up throw. Wow, okay. That was a really nice back air. Really creative. Down air, up smash. Really clean. That takes a stock. Now we are at a stock apiece. Even after Hyper Flame uh, SDing after a really sick combo. Hey, you want to hop on after the set? All right, after this set, I'm going to hand the mic over to capitalize. All right, nice up throw to forward air. Good job by Hyperflame, expecting the forward air to come. 
Oof. Wow. Megan Pancake just goes for a raw F smash on that platform. Oh! Alex, what? <laughs> he says... God, dude. I, he says, I'm really good at this game. Get top five at a national and SD two times every game. What a guy. I think I know what he was going for, and I think it was uh, pretty ambitious, but I respect it. Hyperflame recently discovered this. I guess it's not recent. He, he actually discovered a while ago this new uh, tech with uh, Lucas's up B that you can use on stage. Um, you can activate it seemingly instantly and uh, launch yourself towards your opponent. Opponent, it's pretty much never, n never useful except for as like a super mix-up. Um, the idea is that you uh, initiate a dash. Uh, you actually dash in the opposite direction of where you want to get launched, uh, and then you want to jump, and then immediately activate your up B, and your momentum from the dash carries you into the up B as you like turn it around uh, to hit yourself. So, yeah, apparently that's a thing. Hyperflame, uh, I don't know if Hyperflame has told any other Lucases about it. It probably has. Alright, so Big and Pancake switches back to Fox and actually uh, dies pretty quick. Um, we might see why Bacon Pancakes doesn't like this matchup. Alright, so Hyperflame managed to get back to the stage and hold on to this stock, hold on to his first stock, while Bacon Pancakes is already on stock number two. All right, let's see. So three stocks apiece. A lot of percent, though, on bacon pancakes. So he's gonna have to do some some tricky stuff. I think if he wants to, uh, ooh, that was a really good PK freeze. Wow, that was I guess that's not a mangle, but that was a really good job of avoiding the down smash. Even though he still got killed, um, he extended his life for just a little bit longer. Oh wow, a raw F smash, and he goes for it again. This time, Big and Pancakes managed to shield it. All right, nice multi-magnet by Hyper. Doesn't get much out of it, but it looks damn cool. You can see quite a distinct, like, shift in, in normal Big and Pancakes playstyle against Hyper. I, I never typically see Big and Pancakes just laser at any possible moment. Oh, that was an important up smash. It's too bad for, for Bacon that he didn't manage to land it. Alright, back air. Okay, that was good patience. He waited and waited to see what Hyperflame did. Read that tech to the right and just up smash him. Or not read it, re uh, reacted to it, rather. Oh, okay. Nice job getting the ledge there. That at least lets him live on for a little bit longer. Oh, that's a shame. That PK freeze set up that uh, unfortunate missed sweet spot into a uh, perfect raw forward smash right there from Hyperflame. So that's about a stock deficit. Ooh, dash attack there. Wow. Really well played by Hyperflame. Um, understanding that.